All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Rajneesh Gupta. In this video, we are going to make use of a global variables. All right, so the purpose would be same. We'll have our uh, smart contracts uh, receiving money from the externally owned account. And of course, we'll be having a function which can double your money, right? So let's get the basic understanding about what all we are going to do. As I said, the function would be same. Everything would be same. We'll be making use of public. We'll be making use of view because there is no return and we want our function to update the existing value as well. Now, uh, what we want to make use of is the global variable. You see, global variable is the one where your smart contract can actually talk to the blockchain network with okay so it's a global variable it's a global variable which allow the communication uh, which which actually fetches the information about your blockchain and what are those information it's basically messages so it start with msg message okay and it could be msg dot value it could be msg dot sender as well okay so let's say if i submitted if i send some information so by default uh, on the blockchain the metadata would be mentioned as msg dot sender is the source okay and let's say the transaction amount was somewhere around two ether so by default the metadata in the blockchain would be would identify that value as msg dot value so those are made up of that okay and in smart contract we can actually fetch those information uh, those information can be fetched by by making use of this global variable okay so enough talking let's go to our remix and explore it all right so we are on our smart contract as we left let me cancel it okay yeah as we as we have completed uh, our you know function of doubling the money and the function to receive money and of course the state variable balance as well we can try changing the name of it received balance maybe and once you change it you have to change it here as well receive balance so we are changing the name of it and uh, what we want to do is whenever whenever there's new amount coming in to the smart contract it should be updated so every time maybe a new account comes in okay uh, maybe this time another account want to send some different values some different amount the smart contract balance has to be updated right so for that to happen what we are going to actually do is we'll create we'll we'll call the state variable and we'll increment we'll update it with value but the that is basically msg dot value okay so if you remember this is the amount this is the amount which will be uh, which will be part which will be part of a metadata in the blockchain so whenever somebody send the transaction the received balance variable will be updated by that okay so every time somebody sends some amount it will be updated okay so that's how exactly it is it would be and our next function basically going to double the amount so we get we have an existing amount somebody sends some money and our next function basically double it okay so it's it's a it's a beautiful game going on okay let's deploy it and see let's compile it first and see if there's any error lovely there's no error it looks green let's go to our compiler uh, let's go to our deploy and run transactions so we'll have to first deploy deploy the transaction now what 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 are the number of buttons you can expect so first we earlier had balance i change it to receive balance just to make sure it makes sense receive balance send money contract and again three right wonderful three so now let's first do one thing let's first send some money and uh, now let's select another account maybe 4b okay 4b you see this right 
So now it's in some money from here. Amount should be maybe 15 ether. Okay. And 15 ether, I wanted to send it to. So I click on send money. Perfect. Now I have sent 15 ether. You see this 15 way. This indicates it's a 15 ether. Wait, way is basically the I told you right. It's the very lowest denomination. Right. Just now what we need to do is we need to take a look at the received balance what should be the received balance what do you think the received balance has to be taken from the message value you see this val this is nothing but our message value variable this is the message value information okay so every time a new value comes in this value will be added to our received balance so received balance supposed to be supposed to be 15 isn't it you see this and now once we double it okay and once we double it it should be get doubled by the amount that we enter okay so let's say the current amount but it would be irrespective of the amount we are talking about okay so if let's say we give another amount maybe 15 maybe 19 okay so in that case my uh, maybe let's say 19 is not really that good so my double the amount so uh, in that case the amount would be doubled and and uh, i should be able to see that and um, you see that the amount 20 right so that means that is the amount i received and the balance the new balance should be double in that case right because i entered 20 it became 40 at that moment so that's how exactly it works. Now, if I send some more money, let's say I send some more money to Ethereum, uh, maybe I use another account, maybe this one, and I send some more, let's say 10, and I send the money to it, you could see the received balance would be 10, right? Again, it depends. I can, I can probably multiply the existing amount itself, or I can do it by my own way. Let's say you want, I don't want the user to input the value, but because it doesn't make sense, right? I want the exact amount to be get doubled here. So I can just remove it and uh, I can simply, you know, I can just double it here itself. All right. So my amount has been currently 10 and uh, because i don't want uh, to take any value from the user so i have to compile the code from the beginning so i have, should cancel it compile it again it's good now i should deploy it i get all three values and you you see that there's no field because there's no parameter right now i send some money let's say i send 10 and i should receive 10 on my smart contract so my value of my smart contract balance should be 10 and my received balance should be 10 as well because there's no earlier by default it's zero so right so it would be added and become 10 in that case when i double it it should become uh it should become 20 automatically right and when I check the receipt balance, it should be complete. Okay. You see this? I got some money on the smart contract. I applied the double money function. And when I check my balance on the receipt balance, it's become double. You get the idea, right? I hope you got the got the every piece of this uh, smart contract, how I made use of state variable, global variable, payable function to receive the money. Uh, I mean to send the money to smart contract itself if you have any question you can ask me in the comment see you then